another day, another opportunity to learn. Welcome back, folks. Today, we're diving into the world of presidential residences where opulence and grandeur meet power and prestige. While many countries refer to their head of state's official residence as a palace, there are some who prefer alternative names like government house, presidential villa, state house, or executive mansion. Regardless of the title, these buildings are always expected to be awe-inspiring, symbolizing the significance and importance they hold. In this video, we'll be focusing on the African continent and showcasing the top 10 most breathtaking presidential palaces. Get ready to be amazed as we take you on a virtual tour through these magnificent architectural marvels. From exquisite embellishments to intricate paintings and a remarkable array of clocks, these palaces are adorned with treasures from around the world, representing the cultural richness and diversity of their- A lot of presidential policies are sites what we hold in and and that's why today we bring to you the 10 most beautiful presidential palace in Africa. If you are new here, welcome, be sure to press the like button and don't forget to subscribe. So you don't miss out on future informative and educated videos regarding the interesting continent of Africa. With that out of the way, let's begin. Number 10. State House Uganda the State House is the official residence of the President of Uganda situated at NBE 40 km south of Kampala. It is adjacent to a ceremonial headship building which hosted the Queen of England on a visit to Uganda for the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. The State House costs a whopping $1.6 million to construct. However, Uganda has two State Houses, one located in Nakao Kampala while the other is in not stopping there. Uganda also have various state houses scattered all around the country. Number 9. The Flagstaff House, Ghana Ghana is known to be one of the best countries in Africa which is rich in cultural, good hospitality and many qualities. A mere looking at the Ghana Flagstaff Presidential Palace. You definitely know Ghana has a good taste of quality and beautiful structures popularly called the Golden Jubilee House or just Jubilee House. This is the official residence and home of the President of Ghana. This unique architectural masterpiece was reconstructed and inaugurated by the government of President John. A. The cost of the construction was around 45 to 50 million dollars, and was overseen by an Indian contractor. Number 8. Presidential Palace, Mauritania. Mauritania's Presidential Palace is located in the center of the city northwest of the Lebanese International University and adjacent to the U.S. Embassy. It is made to sit on extensive grounds and beautiful gardens and it is indisputably the most spectacular landmark in the city. This set houses the President of Mauritania and is the principal administrative office of the government of Mauritania. This magnificent palace was built by Chinese contractors. Number 7. Lavalo Palace, Madagascar. The Lavalo Palace in Madagascar is a unique and spectacular building situated at the base of a beautiful vegetation Richter located 15 kilometers to the south from in. It is the the official resident of the President of Madagascar. The architecture was modeled over of an a it's a royal palace complex which in the 17th and 18th century serves as the home of the sovereigns of the I Marina Kingdom. It also served as the palace of the Kingdom of Madagascar in the 19th century. Number 6. Union Buildings, South Africa. Just like an ancient temple adoring the city, it governs the Union. Buildings are a modern-day citadel built at the highest point of South Africa's capital city Pretoria. It forms the official seat of South Africa's government and houses the presidency as well as the Department of Foreign Affairs with its vast gardens. The buildings are located in Pretoria and constitute the South African National Heritage Site. These remarkable buildings built from light sandstone were designed by the architect Sir Herbert Baker in the English monumental style and are 285 meters long. It has become an iconic landmark of Pretoria and South Africa in general and it is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Africa. Number 5. The Unity Palace, Cameroon. The Unity Palace is the official residence of the President of Cameroon. It is located in the center region in Yaoundé and surrounded by a greenery in a surreal location. The Unity Palace is an outstanding architectural masterpiece. Its most prominent features include the towering palace, that hold its walls, pleasant surroundings or lost greenery around it. Number 4. Presidential Palace, Senegal. It is considered a historic house. It was the official residence of the Governor General of French West Africa who has now become the head of the state and is located on the plateau. The construction of the Presidential Palace in Dakar 
are started in 1902 by Gaston Dome who was then Minister of the Colonies living in St. Louis and intended staying in the capital as the governor of French West Africa at the time with the classic white outlook and spacious garden, beautifying it. The Presidential Palace in Dakar is one of the most beautiful sites in Africa. Number 3. Presidential Palace of Sudan. Sudan's Presidential Palace was known as Gordon's Palace is a very historical site. The name was derived from a previous governor was still a British colony. General Charles Gordon. Unfortunately, it was decapitated on the stairway in the northwestern corner of the palace on 26 January 18, 85. Since then, it has continued to serve as the official residence of Sweden's president until 2015 when the construction of a new palace by the Chinese was completed right next door to the old palace. Both palaces are adorned with invaluable relics, antiques, and beautiful flowers and both are located on street adjacent to the palace museum in Khartoum. Number 2. State House, Namibia The State House of the Republic of Namibia, constructed on an elevated platform and boarded by a two-kilometer-long steel fence with Douglas Towers and large guardrooms as a castle or, or better still, it covers 25 hectares of land and it is located in the suburb of Windhoek. This bed-taken set is the administrative capital of Namibia as well as the official residence of the President of Namibia. The house was designed by the North Korean company most the overseas projects. It is reported that the administrative building cost a staggering 400 million Namibian dollars and took approximately 66 months to construct one Abdon Palace. Number 1. Egypt. This historic building in Cairo is considered to be one of the most luxurious palaces in the world. It has very exotic embellishments, paintings and a large number of clocks scattered in the palace and WMS, most of which are decorated with pure gold. The palace is located on the street in eastern downtown Cairo. It was the royal residence until the monarchy was abolished in 1952. The palace has 500 suits and is the official residence and main office of the president of Egypt. So there you have it my people, the 10 most beautiful presidential palaces in Africa, which of these palaces impresses you the most? And do you think we forget to mention any presidential palace that deserve to be in this list? Don't hesitate to share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Also don't forget to press the like button and make sure to subscribe. So you don't miss out on future educative and informative videos regarding the interesting continent of Africa. Thanks for watching this one. Catch you in the next.